So a little while ago, this guy that's in our community who did orthodontics shared this great video. It's a time-lapse video of how his teeth changed as he did orthodontics and following. I think it ran from about September of 2022 until April of 2023. He used some kind of app that like kept the position the same. But basically, like you could see the curve of speed flattening. And I thought it was just a great video to see exactly what happens and, and to see what I'm talking about and to understand that this was also coupled with a lot of health things going wrong. Like he basically said that during that time, his focus declined, his academic performance went down. He wasn't, he didn't feel confident and he felt a lot more impulsive. His relationships were falling apart. So all these things you typically wouldn't associate to this stuff, I've seen the connection of these social and neurological things to the collapse process many times, so I, I completely get it. When you look at the video, it's important to notice that it's not just the teeth that change, like it's the, you know, like what it, the teeth are sitting in also kind of drops. And so this process is less, in my view, about the teeth, more about the structures that the teeth are sitting in which I like to call the soft tissue, but also, you know, the bones are moving and things like this. But all of that, like you can see that the bite just kind of drops and flattens and it's much more than just a change in the teeth. And that is because, you know, this should be going up like a Nike swoosh and instead it's flattening. And basically my premise is that when this flattens on human beings, it is essentially like aging, right? Like it's accelerating the aging rate. And it is this flattening which reflects the collapse of the skull onto the brain, the collapse of the spine or the skeleton. And it's essentially why humans get disease, why we age, why we die, why we're not perfectly symmetrical and beautiful, why we get neurological disease and why we have mental health disorders and the list goes on and on, right? And like, and it's, you know, sounds far-fetched. But when you look at this stuff for an extended period of time and see that the patterns are so tight, it starts to get more and more believable. Also, I think that the, the thing to note is that well over a thousand people are doing Revive at this point. I'm getting feedback from a number of folks, right? I'm tracking journals. I, a lot of people are commenting in the community and I've probably gotten feedback, positive feedback from at least around 70 or 80 people, if not more at this point, I lost track. And they're fixing things like neck and back pain, TMJ issues, concentration, brain fog, migraines. They're getting more energy. They're feeling healthier mentally and lots of other things. So these things that I've gone through numerous times in my 10 year journey, I'm now seeing a lot of others talk about a lot of the same things. And when you look at the entire list, it almost sounds like, you know, the things that are improving are the things that go wrong when you age, which is why I like to call the collapse process, the aging process. And essentially what we're doing with this mouth guard is reversing the aging process. And so everything that you would commonly associate with aging essentially starts to go in reverse, which, you know, sounds kind of crazy because it flips what we've been led to believe about aging on its head. You almost challenge like, does aging really exist or is it just this collapse process? And then if this collapse process can be stopped and even reversed, like, can we essentially stop and reverse the aging process? And if you think about the significance of that, it's pretty significant, right? I'm basically saying, oh, maybe we can stop the root cause of why humans get disease. Maybe every human being can be model level beautiful with a perfect body without doing any exercise while eating whatever they want, right? Maybe we can eradicate things like mental health disorders and the neurological disease at their source, right? And it's as simple as wearing a mouth guard. And this stuff, when you list it all out, starts to sound very crazy. But I'm actually pretty confident that we're going to end up being right about most of this stuff. And why? So why is this happening? Why, like, why is a mouth guard related to these big things that, you know, I state. So it really is about Revive essentially inflates the skull and the skeleton. So putting a mouth guard in your mouth has two main physics. It puts height between the teeth and it prevents the upper and the lower teeth from fixing, you know, coming together in a fixed position, which allows the soft tissue to stretch 
And it's actually by allowing the soft tissue to stretch, it's like inflating your skull and your skeleton almost with an air pump, right? In my 10 years of seeing this thing collapse and then fixing it again at least five times, lots of things fix when you fix it, right? Like your mental health improves, your energy improves, your immune system improves. And that's just, you know, the functional things physically, like your posture and, you know, your, your senses, your vision, all these things improve. And so essentially it's like, you, you know, you can think of it like a balloon that you're just inflating and that, that what is inflating is kind of the soft tissue that is covering and holding all this muscles and bones. And then when it has enough space inside, the bone just naturally slip back into place. Organs go back into where they're supposed to be, you know, are no longer compressed. Disease, this kind of like mangling of the body that was existing previous starts to undo. And that mangling of the body was what was causing disease. And that's all reflected in this curve of speed, which will also improve. So as you do this process, this time-lapse video shows you a person that's collapsing. Now I asked him if he could take a time-lapse video and I think what we're going to show in the next year, a couple of years is that we're going to put that curve back by just, you know, following these basic biomechanical principles. You know, people ask me, what is revive? Right? And some people like I've seen on Reddit, there's like, oh, what are you doing with this mouth guard? And you're just another dropship business. And that's one way to look at it. And to look at it that way would even be fair for some. Right? But I look at it very different. This I've invested 10 years, over 10 years of my life into figuring this out by no choice of my own, but I had to figure it out because a dentist took away you know, my ability to function back in 2014. So it's been a 10 year journey for me and it's kind of the culmination of what I've learned in screwing myself up and then fixing it many times and getting my story out there. And, you know, I've probably easily spent well over 10,000 hours during that decade in researching and testing on myself and doing all the exercises that I do to accelerate it. And I think that this, in some form in the future, I have very little doubt that this will probably one day be considered the biggest medical and scientific discovery, probably in the history of mankind, which sounds nuts. Right. And, and I'm not saying that I'm going to get the credit for it. I don't care. Hopefully, like I'm a small part of that history. I think the evolution of how this becomes what it will one day become in significance is going to be a journey. And there will be lots of other figures who are probably even much more influential in that path. I just got this small ball rolling. But when you have seen what I have seen on your own body and then how tight the patterns are around you, I am pretty confident when I say, you know, where I think this is going to go. And so I find that pretty exciting, right? Like I'm a tech person. I find AI exciting, but I almost think that this stuff is going to even have a bigger impact on the world in the coming decades. Thanks.